Um, yeah. Ah, uh, hi guys. Uh, today I'll be showing you a couple of um, easy to make cooling systems for your handheld lasers and your desk lasers and um, just a couple of little handy things you can do. Alright, for your um, handheld lasers, I've come up with this. Really simple system, nothing in it. Just a, uh, a fan out of a computer. Um, yep, yeah, so that's just put in the lid. That's powered by its own individual 9 volt battery. Um, that boy's past the heat sink for the uh, driver. This one here is 400 milliwatt red, so it's quite a powerful little razor. Um, from there, the air will blow through three little holes. So this huge heat sink that also can have a computer. Um, yeah, so look, that's a really simple thing you can do, and cost me nothing. So yeah. And like I've run this thing for half an hour straight type thing and it doesn't even it gets a little bit warm but it never gets hot. That heat sink even without a fan on it would, you know, really help. Alright, um next we have this easy to make no it won't help. Um cooling system for your desk lasers. Uh yeah, look, super easy to make, cost me practically nothing. All it is is um this see this um this is a pipe no a um pump for a lilo and yeah this put a um fish tank pump so the fish tank pump would be in there all it is and that would be this is the water reservoir so this would be filled up to like there um the water pump pumps the water down this pipe here. Into this, uh, this is an air conditioning radiator off a VN Commodore, which cost me nothing. Um, uh, from there, uh, you've got your your fan, your cooling. Like this is an optional thing, but you know you're not getting any airflow through it, so it's probably better off um, with the fan if you're planning to put one in. Um, make sure it blows the air, like sucks it through the cooling system, doesn't blow it through. If you have a look at a car or anything, all those the fans suck them through because so if you try and blow something through that, it's just going to reflect. But if you if you try and suck it, it'll actually it'll come through a lot better. So yeah, it's just a handy little thing. Um, from there, the air will, the water sorry will go up. And this is a closed circuit at the moment, as you can see. But um, yeah, look, if it's if I had it hooked up to a laser, then I'll just basically have the pipe going down to the laser, which would have its cooling membrane system in it. Then back up to the water as well. You can, yeah, it's really simple. Um, just on a quick note, if you have any old computers, um, hang on to them because I recently wrecked this one, which is all these parts came from, and it's got so much stuff in it. Like, I don't think the newer computers they don't have. Well, they've got more the, the circuit boards on them are a lot more enclosed. Like they're silicon chips, they use a lot less power, so they don't need these big industrial bloody um, capacitors and uh, heat um, regulators and all that. So, like, you've got your LM37s there. So that, that's a huge one. I'm, I think it's an LM something else. Um, I've also got some LM37s. Um, some 25 volt capacitors. Um, some 10 ohm resistors. Well, I've got all these different ones. Switches. And, like, um, yeah, like I've got all this stuff there for a couple of laser drivers, minus the potentiometers, which is pretty handy. Um, you also get your heat sinks, which are always handy. So yeah. Um, all right, and you'll also get the PC power supply, which is a really handy thing. Um, when you wire it up, you'll see a mess like this. Don't be put off by it. It's nothing. All the same colors are the same voltage. And the black is the earth, so all all voltages run through the same earth. Um, yeah, so if you have a look at this one, this is a previous one I've done. That, like they, this is an old one, and it didn't. It, I overpowered it on a hydrogen fuel cell, so it didn't last too long. But if you have a look, all the blacks run up through here. You can't really see them because it's light, but they go to the C common for earth. Um, or all the yellows are 12 volts. They go to the one post. All the reds are 5 volts, go to the same post. 
all the um, oranges are 3 volts go to that post. And basically, um, if you're on and off, so you, if you plug it straight in, it won't power up. That's because if it's got a brown wire, they have to be connected to a, a um, an orange wire. That's your, uh, I think it's a hibernation thing. Like if say if you hibernate a computer, it'll also hibernate the power supply. So that's that. And your on and off will be this green and black. So a black to a green is on and off. And that look, this is a common for all power supplies. They all be the same. Because if you try to hook it into a new computer, it needs to be the same or you'll blow it up, obviously. So, yeah, that's pretty basic and um, really handy thing, you know, like um, it saves you 100 bucks there for a power supply. So, yeah. All right. So I hope this has helped. So, yeah. See you.